How are you doing today? And welcome to another episode of Geek Hot Fix. So as you know already, uh, I bought an Anycubic uh, i3 Mega 3D printer, and I've been having lots of uh, prints done on it. But uh, lately, I have been running into some uh, issues with it. Um, and I, I went online, I couldn't find anything about it other than, you know, switch the parts, buy new parts and switch them and whatnot. And actually the, the fix was so much simpler than that. Uh, basically this is, this is what like, this is a failed print right here. Uh, this is the actual good print that I got to do. But yeah, it's a failed print, it stopped mid-process. And uh, basically the, the printing head just stopped. Everybody kept, like the fan kept going and, and, and basically it melted the, the, the PLA on it. Uh, this is another one that failed. This is a Kid Boo. Um, and it failed midway through as well. Uh, it was doing great until it got to that. But basically the problem wasn't any part of the actual 3d printer it was the the card itself so basically i've been using this uh the mini sd card that came with the printer right it came with the with an sd adapter right and uh i've been using it like and it i didn't have any problems with it but then it started i, I started getting these problems uh uh super boo stop midpoint uh here I got a, a Bulbasaur that I made that basically stopped right there. So I had to like go to mesh mixer and cut that part and try and figure it out, the size and whatnot. It wasn't the right size. So what I did is uh, I'm gonna sand it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prime it and then I'm gonna paint it. But basically the problem was the SD card itself. And what I decided to do is to buy an actual really good brand uh, SD card. Uh, it, it was only like $6.97 in Amazon. It's a SanDisk 16 gig card uh, with 80 meg uh, per second transfer. So I haven't had any problems with it so far. And I think that was the fix. The fix was the actual SD card. And kind of like the way I figure it out is I have another SD card. It's only 32 megs, uh, megabytes, sorry. And um, I tried to print something and it started printing, it stopped. And it was uh, the Super Boo. And then I tried to send the file again to the SD card and it told me the file is too big. But the first time wasn't too big. So basically what it did is it didn't send the whole file to that card and that's why it stopped, right? So when I got this new card, I've been printing lots of stuff. I printed uh, this bus of uh, Thanos. Uh, I, I printed Super Boo, right? And it, it looks amazing. It came out great. Uh, one of the parts broke, but that was that was on me. Uh, I printed the full Kid Boo. It's up there. Um, <clears throat> And I also printed, I wanted to test the SD card, so I filled it with like a lot of files. And I started printing like one by one, but like back to back to back to back. So basically what I what I printed was uh, Han Solo's favorite weapon, right? And it's, it's parts. This is one print, this top part right here is another print. This part right here is another print. This part is another print. I got the part that goes up front it's another print. I got this part right here. It's a, a print. This one right here is a print which is going to go right here. Right? I have to like glue it and whatnot. It's going to go right here. And then this part is another print that goes there. And then I got uh, more parts. Like this is another print that printed with this one. Uh, I have to like glue them. Um, also, I got the, the sides for the handle, so basically I have to like glue everything, but I haven't done it yet because I, I want to paint it by parts, 
because uh, some of it, some of it is gonna be black, some of it is gonna be like uh, silver. It's gonna have like scuff marks in it, like it, like wear and tear. The handle covers, it's uh, they're gonna be brown. So I'm gonna paint everything before I, I, I glue it, right? But again, all of my prints after I switch the cards, after I switch for it, because it, it doesn't even have a brand. The one that, that comes with it. It doesn't even have a brand. It's just like a little black card with a black, you know, adapter. So I wasted a lot of uh, wood PLA, uh, wood filament, trying to figure out what it was. And it was something as simple as switching the SD card for a, an actual branded, like good brand uh, with good uh, amount of space and good transfer rate. That way when I'm sending files from Cura to the card, it just gets it and that's it. And that's that's the other difference is it has good uh, transfer rate. The files from Cura pass uh, transfer to the card really fast. So that's, that's kind of like a plus. But yeah, like I wanted to make this video because uh, there's no like explanation for why you get these problems and I, I figured I might as well just make a video trying to explain maybe you you have this problem with the Anycubic uh, i3 Mega and basically this is the fix it's not like it's where we were thinking like big picture when it was just small simple thing that needed to be fixed and, and that's it that's that's all I wanted to say I wanted to make this video because again I didn't see any videos out there and maybe I, I helped you so I, and, and I, I, I kind of like fix some of those headaches that, that you're having but yeah if you like this video please subscribe hit that little bell so you don't miss all the content that we have in store for you also you can follow us in uh, Geek Hotfix over at Facebook so it's facebook.com slash Geek Hotfix I usually post all my stuff over there and, and, and sometimes I make videos for YouTube which I also post on the page so you won't miss them if you just go over there but hey if you subscribe that's that's props for you and for me <laughs> so with, without further ado this was Geek Hotfix I am Kenneth Rodriguez